Here in this video, we are discussing unary operators in Java. We know that whenever one operator deals with only one operand, it is known as unary operator. If it deals with two operands, it is known as binary operator. If it deals with three operands, then it is known as tertiary operators. So, let us go for unary operators because these operators are dealing with only one operand or data or on a variable. So, unary operators are used to performing operations on a single operand. So, here we are having the operator like minus. So, it inverts the sign of a variable. So, minus my var. So, the sign of the variable will get changed and only one operand that is a my var we are used here, we are using here. So, that is why minus is here is known as the unary operator. We are having this one as plus plus that is the increment operator minus minus decrement operator, we are having this exclamation that is a complement operator that is invert the boolean value from true to false and from false to true. So, this particular exclamation this operator can be used. So, let us go for one demonstration with the help of which we can show you that in Java code how these operators can be used. So, here is the demonstration for you. In this demonstration we are discussing unary operators. We have defined two variables var1 and var2 of type integer. var1 is equal to 50. So, assigning 50 to the variable var1 and var2 is equal to minus of var1. That means, here we are using this unary minus. Unary means this particular operator is requiring only one operand to operate it on. If I write minus 10, here minus is requiring only on only one operand that is 10. But if I write 10 minus 5, here minus operator is requiring two operands 10 and 5. In that case, the operator will be known as the binary operator because it is requiring two operands. But if you write only minus 10, then the minus is actually working as one unary operator. So, minus unary operator to invert the sign of the value of var1 and now we are printing the value of var1 and var2 both. So, if I go on executing, I can find that one. This var1 is still with this 50. The var1 is still with this 50, but var2 has got the value minus 50 here. Next one is that var1 is equal to 50 and var2 is equal to var1 plus plus. That means you, you can find that this plus plus operator is nothing but one unary operator, it is requiring only one operand that is a var1 and here we are doing the post increment increment. That means, at first it will store the value, then the value of var1 will get incremented. So, store previous value, then increase var1 by 1. So, we have written everything in our comment. So, var2 is equal to var1 plus plus. So, as a result of that, you can easily find that the var2 has got the value 50 and var1 after doing this increment has got the value 51 because the previous value of the previous value of var1 will be assigned to var2 and that is 50 and then var1 will get incremented by 1 so var1 itself will have the value 51 here so that is happening in this particular output line next one is that we are doing the same but here we have written this one as plus plus var1 that means pre-incrementing, increasing var1 by 1 and then assigning it to var2. So, from the 50, if I increase the value of var1 by 1, so it will become 51 and then 51 will be assigned to var2. So, we are expecting that both var1 and var2 will be printed as 51 and 51. So, there is a respective output line. So, next one is that where we assign var1 is equal to 50 and similarly we have done the post decrementing that means store the previous value and then decrease var by var1. So, in this way it is uh, going to do that one. So, I am just uh, let me explain it here. So, var1 is having the value 50. So, 50 will be assigned to var2 and then var1 will become 49 here. So, as a result of that you can easily find that here we are having this 50 for var2 and then var1 has got decremented by 1 so it has become 49. So at first 50 will be assigned to var2 and then var1 will be decremented by 1 so it has become 49. Next one is our pre-decrementing. So pre-decrementing means that here we shall be decrementing the value of var1 so it will become 49 and then that 49 will be assigned to var2. So both var1 and var2 will have the value 49 and 49 respectively boolean bool1 comma result so that means here here we have defined two variables bool1 and result bool1 is containing the value true that is the not of bool1 will be assigned to result 
So as a result of that, if you print bool 1, it will print true. And if you print result res, then it will print not of true, that is false. So let us go for the execution. You can find that the bool 1 is true and result is false. So in this way, in this demonstration, we have given you the idea that how these unary operators can, can be operated in our Java code. Thanks for watching this video.